It's almost 8.02 now, guys. I think it's, you get two extra minutes. <laughs> two and a half. Oh, he's like 55 Leather minutes. Leather gloves. <laughs> he's slapping in hands. Uh, Popcorn and peanuts. We're fun. working the stands. Pink cut candy. Love on a stick. He's chasing the beer. The trick of the lips play ball. Play ball. Loaded the bases and smack it right over the wall. Play ball. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Laughter Saves Lives. Live! Here on Strong Island Radio and TV, Facebook Live. My name is Gianni La, La Rocchia. And tonight we have, uh, to my right, the always handsome, Pat Marone. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> to my left over here, we have my buddy, the retired, I always like to say, handsome. retired NYPD. Thank you for your thank service. You. Oh, no, thank you. And thank you for retiring. Yes. And <laughs> on your left. I'm not sure if my wife is happy about it. <laughs> is we have uh, Kerry Dillon is our first guest. Yes. yes. Um, no talking yet. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he, basically, what I wanted God. to do to no, <laughs> yes, you, you can't talk until you're, you you're, you're, right. you're a prisoner now, uh, Carrie. You're not on the talk. Can we so, start this over? She can blink please? Morse code. She's blinking Morse code. <laughs> right, the show's really Send ruined help. now. What the hell is going so on? So, tonight's here? show, I was not here last week, as you guys know. They did a wonderful job without me. And tonight's show, I said, you know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to, we're bringing on Kerry. We want a little more beauty. So, I said, let me bring out my two. Beautiful co-host tonight. John or Steve could not make it on time. So Frank and Pat are here. Yes. So that's what we're doing tonight. So let me hey, talk know, about... Let me, let me give a shout out to Steve Oliva. You know, uh, he's Steve, what's weeks. the matter? He, he might be unconscious in the ring right now he got, again. He got, oh, was he boxing again? He had a, he had a shine at the so, last time and we haven't seen him after that. Have mm -hmm. you been putting pressure on him or something? Sending he, guys over to I don't hurt know. him or what? I don't know. He, he boxes big guys. Um, a few quickies. Went out to Vegas, as you guys know. Talk a little more about that later. We have uh, we have firefighter uh, Eden calling in. Uh, f uh, Edward, not Edward. Um, oh my God! What's I his first name? Uh, he's he's calling <laughs> in later. He's actually your guest that you have. Fred Frederick. <laughs> Frederick Eden is Frederick calling Eden. in later. He's Frederick. a Las Vegas firefighter <laughs> who was shot at the Mandalay uh, Mandalay uh, Inn Hotel Motel Mandalay Hotel Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Mandalay Bay, Mandalay Bay incident. He's going to talk a little bit about his background. He's also a retired military guy. Um, I was out there, and how many restaurants in Vegas? A lot of restaurants. Never been there. A lot of restaurants, yeah, right? Good ones. Of so we're going to class one night. We're leaving class, and uh, Chuck Smith, from uh, he's uh, he's works in um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, says I got a Chinese restaurant we can go to on the way back. I'm like Vegas must be good. He must have got a recommendation. We walk in. It's like one of those takeout with four tables, and I go Chuck. Like, like how did? How did you pick this restaurant? He goes, oh, I drove by yesterday. I thought it might be good. Why in Vegas? <laughs> so we went there. Um, so went, hard to now please. I went. I went on to the uh, uh, the. Okay, oh, you show the pictures, Bobby, of of uh, the national cent the national site that I was on, national test site, uh, Mercury, Nevada, an hour and a half outside of Vegas, where they used to set off the uh, nuclear, not nuclear, radiation explosions underground, test the explosions. Here's the town that was built in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> all right. This is where I was for the week. We drove an hour and a half to get here. Used to, the population used to be, they said, something like, I don't know, 10,000. It's down to 500 now since they stopped the testing out there. Is that Kim Jong-un's uh, practice site? <laughs> we do some, they do some testing still. They do some underground stuff. Um, it, there's the wow. sign as you come in. Nevada National Security Site, no trespassing. Isn't that All right? the same thing they have at the border? No trespassing, but... Uh, Look at that. That's the same thing they have at uh, John yeah, Santos' the, house, too. One of the, no trespassing. 1992, right? So, I tell you, I tell yes, it looks 1992, nice. it, it looks Kennedy nice was there. It does. It looks like a nice place to hang out. Yeah. It, it, it was interesting. It was interesting. So I was there for the week, um, and we did that. Uh, the diner show, uh, we're going to be doing some stuff in diners now. Diners? Yeah, Pat G is going to be doing videos in diners where we're going to all join him in a diner and have some fun. He's going to pick out some diners. Explain. I don't understand what kind uh, of video. Explain to him. Explain to him who Pat G is first. Right. He's first this story. guy. He's just, like a guy. He's just a guy. He's just a guy. Patty Gagliato. He's a guy that I owed some money from as a kid. He said he wanted to do this as a payback. It's going to suck, but we're going to do and, it. And he's going to be a guest on our show <laughs> next week. I mean, give him a little bit of interest Listen, here. Come on, He doesn't Don. watch the show, all right? Pat, you don't watch the show? He's right there. No. <laughs> How was your week, Frank? My week was uh, uneventful. 
That's I got down. <laughs> fill two minutes with Frank's that's week. It. Got right down. Event. Frank's gonna fill two minutes with his week. That was it. That's it. And we I got carry, we gotta have to bring Kerry in. Oh, no, uh, no, I, no I, don't, I don't have much going on. I, uh, you know, but nothing. Nothing. Uh, we're redoing our bathroom. A shout out to uh, ADC Construction. Uh, yeah, let me tell you. Oh, that was. I was gonna say. Are you doing it? Oh God, I could barely. Are you gonna go with me? I thought you were doing no, that. I was saying, no, Holy. that's all please the. Go. I was impressed. Me, I post a picture, so it looks do like I'm favor. doing the work. I was please impressed. Go. Do me a favor. I could barely turn a screwdriver. You're getting like my sister. She posts pictures of a new refrigerator. We don't need to see your bathroom in construction. <laughs> yeah, wait, right, you know wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get is me using. Wait a minute. To his. Let me To his defense, I was impressed. I thought Frankie. Don't egg him on. I thought he knew what he was doing. No. Now I realize. He doesn't know what he's no, doing. No, I just like I, us. And I make no bones about it. <laughs> my greatest claim to fame with construction was when my buddy came over to me, and uh, they wanted to put up a flagpole. So my two Irish buddies had come over to me to help them do the cement work because why not else? My last name ends in a vowel. Well, to this day, we did that. The only thing I knew about mixing cement was it's supposed to be the consistency hard. of peanut butter. It's supposed to get hard. You got to go there, John. You gotta this go is there. a family <coughs> show. Cement gets hard. You guys so, can anyway, go there. I'm not we, going there. We, we did <laughs> this. We put this, we put this there, flag like. pole in. We, we put the flag pole in, and it lasted through numerous hurricanes. It's never fallen down, so I guess if you need a flag pole, I can help you. And if you want to see pictures of Frank's you want to see bathroom, my bathroom, go to my in Facebook progress, page. Go to his Facebook page. It's a good way to plug his Facebook page. You should check out Frank's bathroom. Right. Frank. Now, you want to hear something cool? Area 51 is right out there where I was. That's what they say. It's right next door over that mountain. You saw the picture in the beginning? I right know. over that mountain is supposedly Area 51. So apparently you... there are aliens uh, amongst us. I don't know if there are aliens there, but it's all top secret because I met the chief of the fire department who used to work there, and I said, Chief, what goes on there? And you know what he said to me? Nothing. It's all That's all he's allowed it's to say. Nothing. There, you ever hear of Area 51? I actually... You're not supposed to talk yet. You're supposed to shake oh, your head. Well, why'd you ask her a question for? It was like, it was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, what is you know what he's testing for? Like, like, you're like, not supposed like, to test I don't know what Area 51 Simon, is. Simon, what's the game? What's the game? Simon, uh... Oh, Simon says. Simon says. Can I come in while my wife... What is Area 51? It's supposedly know. all... Well, tell us. You're the big I expert. Know. I don't know. No, I don't know. I'm, uh, it up on the show. It's, it's, I'm off camera because I can't right, take this anymore. Area 51 <laughs> is where they claim a... Um, alien they have an alien spaceship that crashed, I guess, in the 50s. Roswell, New Mexico, 1947. Roswell. Okay, 1947. Okay, I'm Roswell. off camera first, well, but, I, but right. these guys yeah. are massacring this um, Area 51 thing. So supposedly they have um, um, a crashed uh, spaceship <laughs> and the body or the remains of an alien. Uh, Several it's aliens. much more than that. But it's Be where the stealth fighter, yes. the SR-71 Blackbird, all of the top secret aircraft. Yeah. Right. This is John there. Santo giving out and top they, secret information. And they Thank light you. up. They saw it in a mountain out there. They said they light yes. it up. I mean, the whole place goes on fire. All right. Uh, Caitlin didn't call in yet. So She's going to call. All right. Let's get to Kerry <coughs> first, and then when Caitlin calls, well, we'll why, would tell you why would you want to interrupt Kerry? Kerry? Because oh, she came God. all the way out so here sweet. from Suffolk County. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Or East Meadow. Oh, yeah. Which was it? She came all the way here from East Meadow. I'm going to call. I'm going to make sure Kerry... Caitlin's right. supposed to be calling. I'm going to say call now. Right, Caitlin talk. lives in Merrick. Oh, no, she doesn't. She lives in West Chester. No, I live in West Chester. They all could have called. Oh, man. I am in my, let me talk about my Fitbit then. I'm in the Fitbit <laughs> challenge. Oh, here's Caitlin. She's calling my phone. You're supposed to call the She's studio. you got to call on the station phone number. Come on, Caitlin. Ready? Ready? This is not a professional TV show, as everybody knows. Notice that John came back, not, and the show wait, has kind of this taken is not a professional show. Nine zero nine we, nine we've nine only been on right? about 12 you weeks. We're still trying to right. get it right. together. But it seems that when John is here, everything kind of All right, hold started. on. Let's take a pause here now. This is the behind-the-scenes look. So, we'll be on in about five minutes. I'm in, a fit, <laughs> I'm in a Fitbit challenge with 10 other people, and one of them is a young girl. All right, well, what's probably the challenge? About you got to do as many steps as possible. With, okay. So every time I wake up, this girl does like another 3,000 steps. So I'm walking all night. Like I get up every time we go to the bathroom. We go a lot like, at my age. I don't know about you. Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing steps. I'm doing steps for 20 minutes. And this, this girl's killing me, and I, I've i never really met her. You know what you have to do? You have well, to put that on your... No, I don't cheat. Does your grandson walk? No, I think I walk today. I don't cheat. Although she's talking out of turn, she gave you a good idea. Sorry. No, no, she's no, in. Now she's in. <laughs> your friend she's PJ uh, says hi. Uh, um, good. Yeah, I'm not sure who uh, PJ uh, is. Tom? Yeah, and Tom. he says he, he doesn't know what the TV MA rating. He says he loves the TV right. MA rating. Oh, we got a new rating. Amy Solomon has joined us. Yeah, we told we told them Kerry was going to be on. They changed our PG rating. What's up? Right. She's not supposed to talk or laugh. I'm sorry. All right. She's well, a Caitlin, prisoner now. I got to tell you, you're ruining the show. 
<laughs> she's fine. She's fine. Uh, we wanted Caitlin. All right. Uh, for all Not you, yet. For it's all not you viewers out there, Caitlin, <laughs> Caitlin will call in another hour. All right, here we go. Here oh, we go. Here we go. Caitlin. I did it. Yes, you did. Hey, you dialed the phone. All right, you're on the you're on the air. Uh, right we're a little we're a little behind. Uh, so let me ask you this. Uh, number one, thank you for doing the St. Albans Veterans Hospital show the other day. They loved you. Thank you so much. It was such a good experience, honestly. I really enjoyed it. Well, you know what? I love when the young comics come, and they love when we bring uh, an attractive young lady. Uh, the old guys, they like that. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. You Is gotta, that, you know, I you don't know. You gotta go there. You they like that, though. The you guys like that. And, and she did a nice job. Um, and, and what I found out the other day is that her uncle was a 9-11 firefighter who died at 9-11. I didn't know that. Wow. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your uncle. Um, just tell us what kind of guy he was. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, what I like to tell everyone is like, you know, I was only eight when he passed. But I, I have like a good amount of memories because um, I remember when I was young, I was like, I have to remember everything I possibly can about Uncle Ray. Right. And everything I remembered about him was always a memory of him either making me laugh, like doing something so ridiculous and goofy to make me laugh, or doing something to help somebody else to put a smile on someone else's face. And he personally, like, he always had a smile on his face. And that's my favorite memory about him is just that he was such a happy guy who was so willing to help others. Like, he found so much joy in helping others and seeing that, you know, him helping them, you know, could put a smile on their face. And it was, it really, he was so amazing. He's going to be very proud of you. Um, Kate, is that um, where you got your inspiration to do comedy um, through, through your uncle? Uh, no, actually. I mean, maybe, like, psychologically is something deep-rooted down, maybe, that I don't realize. But, um, you know, when I was a kid and, you know, I had I never really thought about doing comedy. It didn't really come to me until I was a little older. Caitlin, how old are you? Never 24. You're still a kid. She's 24. I know. She's, I knew she's still that. a kid. We're, we're, we're old here, except for Carrie. Three, three things you never ask a woman. How, how old I you know. are. I knew how age. That's why I, I play in between. Well, how much he weighs. <laughs> right. well, I'm sorry. And what do you do? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Those are the three things you never ask a woman. Let, let our guests talk. Go ahead. What? Go ahead, Caitlin. I'm sorry. Wait, what, am I answering a question? No. <laughs> we don't no, know. Not at all. Don't worry, don't John's got us confused, too. Don't well, what, what I said to you the other day is, I feel like I got to know you better the other day, telling me about your uncle, telling me about your cousin and your other cousin, and, and we, we want to try to include you in more Laugh to Save Live stuff. We're doing that big show with the World Trade Center Cancer Nurses at Gotham, and I told you I'd give you a, a quick set on that show. I also told Pat tonight he's going to be on that show. Um, it's going to be a great night, and I, I think I understand some of your family's going to come out if you're on the show, correct? Yeah. So I love these shows because they have heart, and it's about our guys, and it's about remembering them, and we're going to help the guys that are struggling now. So it's going to be a great night, and I'm, and I'm really glad that you came down to St. Albans and that I, I got to know you a little better the other day. Yeah, no, I, I was so glad. I, could, I didn't realize I had never mentioned it to you. No. Um, but, yeah, I... Um, well, it's yeah, tough, Caitlin, because John never let you get a word in edgewise. No, well, so now, now, Kate, <laughs> Kate, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you remember when we met on the uh, on the cruise? <coughs> Frank? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> Was he wearing that speedo? She's yeah, watching. man. I ran the other way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's his, his wife does too. Don't worry yeah. about it, Kim. I would run the other way. How are you? That is so funny. Yes. We still haven't come across each other in person in comedy, but we come across on the phone. That's pretty funny. Yes. So, well, listen, Caitlin. I'm glad you're doing well with the yes. comedy. I remember you saying how much you really wanted to uh, to be a comedian, and uh, it seems like you're doing well. So. Yeah. Thank I'm you. I'm sure we'll work together sometime. Yes. And and listen, I I don't mean to rush off, but thanks for calling in. But he will um, anyway. Right. And we will we will talk to you soon. Alrighty, thanks so much, guys. All no, right, thank take you. care, Caitlin. Alrighty, have a good night. Bye. All right, take Bye -bye. care. You know, you're, you're so, when I'm when I'm talking to a guest, we have we have Carrie here, we have the other guy calling in. 
I'm su- you're supposed to defend me. Like, yeah, we have another guest. <laughs> you always throw me under the bus. So now you're going to reprimand us on air. But wait, 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 wait a minute. But wait a minute. You we got do, nobody else. You do tell me you like when I heckle you. I do. So. I, do. I feel low. I feel like I'm back in the flash. Steve Oliva is not introduce here. Introduce our guest. Steve Oliva is not here. You need somebody guest. to keep you in place. <laughs> introduce our guest. All right, before we introduce Carrie Dillon, let's take this phone call. All right. No, she's here. No. Yeah, we'll take the phone call quick, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll take... Hello, you're on the air. I hope you know. Right, they hung up. They hung up. See, so you insulted them. You insulted them. They hung up. I didn't say that. It's very good. Listen, our first guest, who's Every been sitting here <laughs> quietly... Is Kerry Dillon. Now, she, Kelly does a lot of volunteer. Kerry does a lot of volunteer work. Okay, she's, uh, she does some work for children with uh, kidney and urological problems. Uh, she does some stuff, Hope for the Holidays. And she's been to Nicaragua, and she's going to tell us all about this stuff. So please welcome Kerry Dillon. Kerry right. Dillon! All right. All right. Can, I, would just, I would like to start off questioning Kerry. Yes. Um, the, the, the reason that I was so impressed with this young lady um, a few years ago. Christmas Eve is big. Italian family, big. What, you, yes. you have a big Christmas Eve? Well, we don't pat. It's got to have a big Christmas Eve. I know. I was just going to say. Big Christmas well, Eve. It, it, all right. He, for for, you, for your audience, it's John Santo he's pointing at. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And John Patty Santo. G. Two Italians. Patty G's there, there. We have an audience. Um, Kerry goes out on Christmas Eve and, and, t- and, and gives to the homeless. They get a van. And make, right? They get a van. And you yeah, can describe usually. the program. But they give <laughs> gloves, hats, socks. Scarves, yeah. Scarves and sandwiches? Yep. Sandwiches to homeless on the street. Mm-hmm. There's no organization that you're visiting. Right. Am I right? You're just driving <laughs> around. So basically, yes. So um, when I was taking class with Joanna Bexon back okay. in the day when I first started acting mm-hmm. and just graduated from college, sitting in um, Penn Station, you know, just waiting for my train to come, and, and this homeless man was sitting in the area and they had just started, you know, having police go in to shuffle people right, out right. basically. So he's there. He's not asking for money or anything like that, but he's actually asking for food. And then I'm I'm looking and there's this huge wreath next to me and I'm thinking to myself, God, what would the holidays really be like if I had nowhere to go, mm-hmm. no one to celebrate with? It would <clears throat> literally be the most I think depressing, depressing. thing. Well, isn't you know, there a lot of suicides right uh, around that time? Yeah, right? yeah. It's, it's super it's depressing. And just, yeah. you know, living on the streets and having no one want to talk to you. Like, this guy was completely ignored by everyone. People, you know, like Long Island shoppers, they have their Bloomingdale, Macy's bags and stuff like that. They right. were disgusted that this man even existed. And I thought, Well, it God. just, usually it's Walmart Target bags. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. So I was like, maybe I can just, you know, gather some things and pass them out this holiday season just so that they can see that someone is thinking of them for, right. for Christmas. Very right? cool, right? So, I don't know. I was in church. I was going to church weekly and just something that the um, the priest was saying when he was preaching and stuff, I like was like, I have to do this. I, I have to talk to this priest. So, during church, I'm like scurrying around like trying to get the priest's attention during communion during and com- stuff. I'm like, <laughs> like a psycho because I'm like so like, this people need to know about. So anyway, you I ended were moved. up talking. You were moved. Yeah, I was moved. So, yeah. I ended up talking to the priest. This was only a couple weeks before um, Christmas. Talked to him after Mass. He was like, oh, you can make a speech the next week or whatever. So, oh, cool. I went up there, made a speech. <clears throat> And I sat at the back of the church, and I was like, if you'd like to donate, just, you know, if you, you know we'll have right. a basket back there. $700 in collections wow. after one mass. Wow. And from there on, um, we basically, we went that, that year. How many years is this now? Uh, this was 11th. Wow, 11. 11. Oh, wow, yeah. that's nice. <clears throat> now, you do a Christmas so, Eve all the time. Yeah, well, this year we didn't do a Christmas Eve because it's really hard to coordinate. Um, and right. Get, vans to be donated so that we can get everything. I would I, I know I say but, this every um, year I would really like to do something with with laughter saves lives and some of our guys it's so hard Christmas Eve it's no, hard it is. but Very if we difficult. could do it on a we you know even if we had to get a second van whatever right. I just think to do something like that to approach people who have nothing on the streets mm-hmm. to me that's Christmas yeah when I went to the veterans hospital this year and and, and did we did that's Christmas to me. Mm-hmm. You know, we, sho- we shove all this food in our faces and, you know, our kids, oh, I didn't get this, I didn't get that. Right. That's not Christmas to me. This, right. what you do, is, is awesome. Thank you. It's awesome. And, Thank you. and tell me right or wrong, you get more out of it than they do. No, you Correct? definitely. Everyone that, it, it's amazing. <clears throat> every year, you don't know if people, it's getting stale or whatever, um, but every year there's some other group that you just, 
hear from and this year there was a Boy Scout group in Ronkonkoma that was trying to help and mm -hmm. nice. it's just incredible the the community that now, how is now, created but, through these but, projects. Now you do you do this through a church that does this or do you do this on your own like are you driving the streets with that van on your own? No we actually the first year we literally could not find any homeless people literally and we're driving around we have all this you know stuff where were, you, West, where were you, Westbury? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> like, oh, West so then, <laughs> you'll find him finally, in Westbury. We finally find this one man sleeping on the side of the road. So I'm like, pull over to my dad. My dad's driving. <laughs> Turned out it was me passed off drinking. Yeah. So we go to drop off a thing. And as I'm walking back to a car, there's literally a line of homeless people lining up for the Coalition for the Homeless. Oh. New York City Coalition for the Homeless has a mobile uh, soup kitchen. And they go around stop to stop. And literally... Oh. They were like, oh, you can follow us to the rest of the city. So every year we just coordinate with the coalition for the homeless. Oh, so you do. And we follow them from their stop where everyone knows. And it's really cool because this year um, one of the guys was actually like, don't you normally come on e on Christmas Eve? And I was like, oh, you, remember me? <laughs> you know us. But yeah. It's, oh, that's it's so great. Really I know I've dropped okay. off a few clubs and hats, and but I, I, I yeah. just feel like I could do more. And I think the kids will get something out of it, you know. Yeah. So if you guys want to do that this year with Gary, I think it'll be fun. Oh, we will. I think it'll be fun. Um, what else? So now, what about there? this camp? This this camp for children with uh, the kidney, <coughs> kidney yes. problems. Camp Rainal, not Rainal. 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 Yeah. Rainal. So that's in Texas. Rainal. I just, I just... It's for kids with kidney disease. Um, my brother has volunteered there. His wife has volunteered there. It's, I, I started. How did you get involved with college? Them? Yeah, it was a service trip in college. I went my last year. Like I graduated, I went on the service trip, and I just returned year after year. Um, it's amazing. There was one year where one of the the children actually got a kidney. Um, the last day of camp, they they wow. made a call to the child life specialist, and she walks in and there and you know she makes the announcement, and it was like I get chills even thinking about it because from there it was the last day of camp. Everyone else is going home. She was going to the hospital. She's airlifted out of camp and like shot over to the hospital to get her kidney. Isn't that wow. what Kevin donated? I, I mean, didn't he donate a kidney? Kevin, Kevin that was the other thing. Kevin O. What did he donate? The other, you, the other, Kevin the other Nicaraguan guy. Oh, I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. He donated a kidney, right? Yeah, he did everything. I, I read that. That's yeah. crazy. Oh, he, he was. That guy did everything. He's in Nicaragua now, right. too. Wow. So um, he should be on the show every week. <clears throat> now, you, you were an actress, or you yes. studied acting. Studied acting. Obviously, a very, very tough field. Yes. Um, you still doing any acting? Because I see that you you have a full time job now, right? I do. Um, I do. I act from time to time uh -huh. when I'm asked. Um, nothing too major. Kind. Of, I was out in L. A. Yes, yes. I really right. didn't like the person I was becoming in that environment. I can see exactly every, the turn Hollywood has taken. I, I saw it when I was out there. Uh -huh. Not that I, you know, was in too bad of a situation. Right. But you see. These dirty old men, like, trying to use their clout. Oh, yeah. So, you know, and it's just so, like, yeah. wait. See it with John, you know. Yeah. Right. That's, how, that's how Pat and I got this show. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you knew that urban slang. <laughs> that's why we're not wearing right. that's why we're not wearing I knew that word. <laughs> so... <laughs> we're back to PG. So now we're back to PG. For like 30 <laughs> seconds. We're going to be back to Emma. I'm not sure. Strong Island. No, what I want to ask you, this, Frank, this is interesting. The uh, libraries. Yeah. Well, e Explain e it to e me. Consultant. Yeah. Exactly what is that? Okay, so E-Rate is like um, a discount program for schools and libraries to close the Wi-Fi gap across the nation. So basically, depending upon this, and there goes your viewership. <laughs> no, no, no. no. It's so I, boring, I, I, but it's, it's really cool because it gives... Um, Children across the, the the nation an equal opportunity to education and. Um, but but, but, but what do they do? Like you talked about the Wi-Fi. I don't, I don't. So basically, it you get depending on the amount of students in your school who get free or reduced lunch, um, you get a discount and like it ranges up to ninety percent. So you can literally get the school gets the Wi-Fi or the students. Oh, bills. okay. So it's, it's so connecting kids bills. to the internet simply. Exactly. Simply. It's basically, yeah. Who are not they on. get the internet and they go through the, all the procur right. procurement rules right. and all that stuff. And then event ultimately, after all the hoops that you kind of jump through. Very good. Um, yeah. 
Now, what, now what's going on in Nicaragua? Because you are now our second guest who's yes. um, spending time and heading to and coming from Nicaragua. Well, now, you, 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 you were down there from 2004 to 2006? No. <laughs> you still no. doing it? Um, no, I haven't. Oh. I, yeah, she I bought a home in Nicaragua. Right. She, she, she's right next <laughs> to uh, what's is Kevin. Beautiful. She's right. She lives right Maybe next to Kevin. Is it she commuted beautiful. today. She commuted today from Nicaragua. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin for, actually for, built a wildlife a preserve out there. Oh, did he? A wildlife preserve and park right here. Yes. He's, but Where? listen, this is not about Kevin tonight. This is no. about Where in Perry. Do you know? Um, I don't know. I sound like my um, wife. Nicaragua. <laughs> Second like Avenue and Smith Street. I don't know. <laughs> my wife hates Pennsylvania. The whole state. She hates anyway, because she stayed in one about, hotel once. Tell us you about you in your time in Nicaragua. Uh, what made you go there? What are you doing? So, and are you going back? Yeah. So I was actually going to college in New Hampshire. What were you studying that you're doing? Now? I started. As a business major, okay. ironically. Okay. I switched a few times. Oh, <laughs> Don't right. know how I graduated on time, but um, you seem happy. Business. You seem happy. Yeah. You don't well, she's on Atlanta Saves Live show. Yeah. Right. Right. Look where this I am. This is, uh, her, her dollars are spent on education have paid off. She's here with I'm everybody's happy drama. here. She's on Strong Island Radio, Atlanta <laughs> Saves Lives. You made it. So it's that was a, it's just, TV. Uh, that's right, it's not real. Right. <laughs> you answer a question, she answer Please. Wait, do you guys really care? We do. <laughs> no, I'm we do. I'm Listen, totally joking, totally joking. We're trying to, we're, we're trying to disguise we gotta fill that, time. that we don't care. Because, because, I only had a, because I had an uneventful week, we have to fill time with you. <laughs> right. you, know, you know, Kerry, uh, now you were talking about your acting before. I'm going to switch it around. Have you been, uh, anything that you've been into, that uh, any shows or movies you've ever? Anything on TV? or? And then we'll uh, get back to I'm Nicaragua. Done. <laughs> Mysteries at the Museum, oh. Red Handed. I did a. Um, you don't know any of those things. I do. My oh. Indian Actually, fans do. have gone um, to international film festivals and stuff, which is really cool. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Hey, you know what? How can people We're see gonna, uh, if I they want to get if they want to get, you know. Uh, Contact no, well, you have any no, 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 is he from Canada? No, he's from. His Island name is Park. Sean. Wait, is it John or Jean? The Canada Sean. of Long Island. Sean. Island Park. Oh. Nice Irish name. Yeah. Right. Very nice. Well, well, now, what I'm trying to say, that you, when you, you go out for acting, <laughs> do you still pursue your acting? Do you have a. Do I don't um, oh. actively pursue it. If okay. people ask me to do stuff or, you know, they're looking for <coughs> the film, usually audition and stuff. But right now. I'm busy uh, with my E-rate consultant. The reason why the reason why <laughs> I was asking if you wedding. wanted to promote your Facebook page oh, or anything for you. people that want to before you know, interested since we've in, been you know. stepping all over you. Is there anything on we this list? You. Yes, anything on this list that we attempted to touch on that we did not give you a chance to talk about? Please pick something. Careful with the word. <laughs> Careful with the word. Column one and well, column two. This we didn't get. To. Talk to Nicaragua. No, you want to talk kidding, about Nicaragua? Right, listen, we, we have to let Kerry go anyway. Um, no, because we are hopefully. She's going to stay here with us. Face, yeah, she can stay. She stays. Tell Watch His Face to call in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, aren't we so, going to a commercial? We're yes. bringing out we our sports guest. Yeah, yes. We're going to be John. Our sports guest. Yes, and then we're going we're gonna to have him call and he can be on hold. This way he's here. Okay, Frederick. Uh, Bobby, you could show uh, Let's Go to Commercial or uh, Life Act. We're so professional. Right, Bobby behind the glass, <laughs> taking us life to act. commercial. Well, take Bobby, let's Bobby life will back. get us to commercial. When life someone act. is choking, brain damage can occur after just four minutes. Did you know every five days a child dies because of a choking accident? My name is Art Lee. I invented Life Act to protect my family. Life Act is an easy to use suction device with a special one way valve to help save a choking victim. I care for my dad who's prone to choking. Having LifeVac in my home gives me peace of mind. Protect your family. Buy LifeVac now. Thank you, Daddy. Call 1-877-LIFEVAC or visit LifeVac.net. And we're back. We're Laughter back. Saves Lives Live. Strong Island Radio and TV, Facebook Live. Uh, we're back with uh, our guest over here. We need a little more of you in the screen, guest. Yeah. Slide over uh, there. I'm guys. coming, I'm coming. Right. I see. Kerry's moving. You're moving. John Santos here. Hello. Santo. All right. John, um, thanks for coming down uh, to the show, even though you're supposed to call in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want me here. No, we, do, we always look want this, you here. Look at this microphone. I've got. John, uh, what is the first topic you're going to talk about tonight as our guest uh, commentator? So I'm going to talk about the Super Bowl. 
Super Bowl. Is there a, an the angle? Upcoming you? Super Bowl or any particular Super Bowl that sticks out? Good mind. point. Both. Okay. Both. Take it away. <laughs> so. Yes. Super Bowl Sunday is Sunday. this Sunday. Now, I have some stats for you on the Super Bowl. Go ahead. Last year was a NFC home year. On the odd numbered years that the Super Bowl is played, it's an NFC home game. Even numbered years is an AFC home game. Last year, where's the camera? Last year. Right there. See right there. Same place, the place it was the last Same place it was last You've only been on the show for 12 uh, weeks. Last year, the Falcons, yes. uh, they had a 28-point lead. They blew it, right? So they were, gonna, they were debating whether or not, because the home team gets to wear their uh, choice of jersey. Last you're big year, into jerseys. I know everything about sports. I know. You know. So, but these, the, he, here are some statistics. Go. 11 out of 12 Super, of the past Super Bowls were won by the team wearing the white, most points. White, white jerseys. White well, jerseys. Most would make you the white. That was my Can year. I deliver the report yes, without... Yes, I'm sorry. Guest commentator. Oh, guest commentator. Oh, yeah, I'll do I'm that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do Cosell. Uh -huh. I'm just going to be me. <clears throat> yeah, Cosell. Uh, Therefore, no. Yeah. And Cosell's done. Yeah. Uh, so 11 out of 12 of the past Super Bowls as of last year were won by the team wearing white. Right. Including the Giants, they beat the Patriots twice wearing white. So the Falcons, had a tw they blew a 28-point lead, because, and guess who won? The Patriots wearing white. This year, the Patriots, which, who normally wears blue right. during the Super Bowl, right. they are wearing white because they know that now it's 12 out of 13. So now, Super Bowls. so now what the, fans out there, if the fans out there put everything on the How Patriots. This, the when I miss something there, do they get to choose what color they wear? The home team, whichever uh, conference is the home team, Right. Even though they're not at their home stadium, they're Correct. considered the home team. Of course. They get to choose whether they wear white or the team primary color jersey. Normally in the NFL, the, the uh, team color is the home jersey and the white is the road jersey. Okay. Correct. Not all the time. Sometimes the Jets wear white at home. Yes. If it's a hot day, they want the other team to wear the darker color. Miami does that a lot in the hot uh, uh, right. games down in Miami. <clears throat> They'll make the visiting team wear their primary oh, interesting. jerseys. Now, do they, not the, too, the, not too the, the white team, they lost the white cool team wins, did they cover the spread? I, I don't know about the gambling part. I don't How gamble. Just tip the odds in Vegas? I don't know anything about any of that. I don't know I don't know any of that stuff. I just know that out of the past 13 games, 12 of them were won by the team that wore the white jersey. All right. That's an interesting All right. Interesting so what is your topic? prediction on the Super Bowl? Uh, you got any other information? Well, could, with the spread, what is your prediction in. with the spread on oh, the Super Bowl? Oh, now, yes. The and and uh, there is a, uh, I one that's also reported. I don't know what the spread is. I don't know either. No, it's like the, the points the thing. Well, no, like are you serious? Cheese? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you, were just down in, you were just down in L.A. Now, if if the number of points they expect the other team. We'll have a degenerate gambler call in next week and explain this. Wait, if only we had a book. Wait, does Sean watch football? Sean? Not really. Oh, he doesn't? No. He watches. He don't even watch oh, Laugh to Save so Life. I have one more point. I'll show him one more good point. I have one more good point about the Super Bowl. Go ahead. Well, in, in order to uh, use the Super Bowl logo, which is a Roman numeral with the Lombardi trophy in the middle. Right. Uh, I used to work in marketing and sports marketing. So, yes, you do. Um, you can't use the word Super Bowl or that logo unless you are an official Super Bowl sponsor. I did a consulting project for MetLife, right. and MetLife Stadium was the home, home of Super Bowl 48. Right. MetLife, which sponsors <laughs> two NFL teams and has a name on the damn building where the Super Bowl is being played, mm -hmm. had to say the big game. We could not use the word Super Bowl, and we couldn't use the logo unless we were a Super Bowl sponsor. So like your Coca-Colas, your Budweiser's, those teams, uh, those um, advertisers are the only ones that use it. So anytime you go into like a, a deli and they have the, the all of them are in violation of Very NFL similar rules. To the left wow, or really? Saves Lives logo. Yes, you cannot use it's the Left or Saves Lives logo. Oh yeah, you use that logo, yes. we'll kill you. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll kill. We'll sue. We'll I mean, we'll who, sue you. Who will? It's I want the jack. Let me tell you, show that anybody oh. uses that logo, which oh. I love, that freaking fire hydro, oh. which I love. The smiles and the left. I'll kill you. It's a Johnny Pump. We'll settle out a call. It's a Johnny Pump. A Johnny, Johnny Pump. Plug, Johnny Pump, Johnny Pump. And my name is Johnny, my real name. Well, that, that's an interesting uh, interesting report there. Thank you. you well researched, I thought, right? Well it was, I, I thought it was very good. And written on a crumpled good. piece of uh, paper. loosely paper, like his homework when he was a kid. So I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> but it I had to, I'd be carrying this around for two days. It doesn't oh, help oh, you oh, view oh, it. Bobby, do we have Frederick on the phone? All right, let's, let's take him take and then Frederick? I'll come back. Okay. And then we'll take Frederick. Frederick. Take Frederick. You can stay here. Let's take I'm going to stay here. Um, what would you leave for? Hold on one second. I don't want to go back. Hold on one second. No, stay uh, here. Left to save lives. Uh, you're on the on the air. This is uh, John LaRocca here. Hey, John. This is Fred. My brother, Fred. How are you? 
Good, sir. How are you? Good. I want to first thank you for calling in and your busy schedule. I'm sure you had a lot of things to do today. Uh, you know, not not too bad right now. Just kind of winding down. No, you you, you have to make it sound better than that, Fred. His week, was, his week was no different uh, than mine. Yeah, what, it doesn't, it doesn't you sound too cool? enthused to me. I laughed to say live either. Hey, Fred, you're out you're <coughs> yeah. out in Vegas, the Vegas Fire Department, and being that I don't get down to Vegas much. I guess I would think, oh, my God, these guys are always going out. They're going to the casinos. They're going to shows. I would assume it's nothing like that, correct? Um, I, you know, I kind of thought it would be like that, and then I joined the fire department, and it seems like all the firemen, you know, know all the best party spots and everything like that. So, I mean, it's definitely been a blast. <laughs> well, that's any fire department. But, I, I, you know, I just thought Vegas, um, you'd be doing more uh, going out and stuff. All right. So let's get to your background. I only found out today um, when you sent me this bio that you were a veteran in the Marines. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was a veteran. I, I served uh, for four years from 2010 to 2014. And, well, thank you for your uh, service. I in communications. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you. you very thank much you. for your service. Where thank were you. you stationed? What's that? Where were you stationed? Were you overseas or? Uh, yeah, I was stationed in California for a little bit, and then North Carolina, and then we did some time uh, floating around the Mediterranean for a little bit. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so I also see here that uh, you were a fire explorer, and you were a wildland firefighter, so you fight those fires in the mountains and, and in, the, in the forest? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did that for four years uh, before getting hired here. Yeah, that's a whole different, that's a whole different type of firefighting, right? Yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, it's actual work for 69 hours a day. Yeah, you're. Are you out in the in the field for like days on end? Uh, yeah. When we did wildland, we traveled all over the West Coast, you know, including Alaska. And you're just kind of camping out, and then you wake up and you go fight fire, and then you come back and you go back to sleep and camp out. Wow. All right. So let's get let's get to um the the way that I met you. I was out there in Vegas. I was teaching a class to the Vegas Fire Department. And they learned, they learned a lot from all the knowledge that I have. And uh, I was asking the guys. It was a short trip. Because, just, just I was asking the guys <coughs> if they knew anybody who was affected by the um, um, Mandalay, 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 Bay. Mandalay Bay incident. And they introduced yeah. me online to you uh, that you were shot in the foot at the incident. Um, I don't want you to get too deep. I don't want you to say anything you don't want to say. Could you tell us a little bit about what went on for you that night? Uh, yeah, you know, I was just there with my girlfriend, and, you know, we kind of walked off to go to the bathroom and get some more drinks, and we came back for the last show, and, uh, you know, we were standing towards the back of the crowd, and we heard the gunfire, but at first everyone thought it was fireworks or, right. uh, you know, something wrong with the sound system, and then the shooting started again, and we realized something wasn't right, so we started running. And we dove for cover, and that's when I noticed that I got hit in the foot. Ooh. Um, but I didn't really see how bad it was. I just thought I got <clears> stepped on. And then I looked down, and I saw the side of my shoe was blown out, and there was blood coming out. So I grabbed her hand, and we started making our way for some more cover. And you know, eventually found a jersey wall and hit behind that. Um, how long was that whole up. process from, the, from when you realized what was going on until, uh, until it was over, so to speak? Um. Well, it took a few seconds to realize what was actually going on, and then once we knew what was going on, it, it was it seemed like it lasted forever, but it really only lasted for maybe 15 minutes. That's still a little But, you know, and but during long? that whole time, you don't know if there's more than one shooter. Sure. Or, Did you just or stay in that area once you were behind that wall? Is that where you stayed? Um, yeah, we stayed behind that wall because it was only about four feet high. You know, they're, they're short, and if you weren't right up next to it, you weren't covered at all and we could just see people other people getting hit um that weren't near that wall so we just stayed there until the shooting stopped and when we, did, you know we tried to make a, we tried to make a run for it a couple times but then that shooting would start back up again so we were right back up on that wall fred hold on one second bobby could you put the picture up there of him and his sweetheart um go ahead john i'm sorry <clears throat> when did you leave that yeah, when did you decide that it was over and and how did you decide that and how did you just uh, you know make the move uh, away from the wall like the uh, final so we time when a, you left. We were, with a, we were with a cop for, you know, about 10 minutes or so. And, um, you know, the shooting had stopped for maybe five minutes. And we just kind of laid low. And that's when we decided to make a run for it. So a couple other guys picked me up. You know, I'm a 230-pound guy. 
so it took four guys to pretty much lift me and carry me um, because I couldn't walk anymore. And we had to cross the whole venue because we were on the west side. We had to go all the way to the east side of the venue where the triage area was. Right. Well, was um, this was this event like in like? Cause I've been I've only been to Vegas twice, but I know some events you need tickets to get in, and it's like a, a, a other events are just kind of like people show up, they kind of like flow through. There's like bands, and they you know they can wander in, they can wander out. What was this event? Was it like a um, an open event, or was it like a, a you needed tickets to get in event? So that, you know, uh, yeah, you needed tickets to get in. We had a wristband, and they scanned the wristbands, and you know everyone goes through security there. It's just. That that shooting came from up in the Mandalay Bay, right. I think 32nd floor. Were any of the other guys from the Las Vegas Fire Department or Police Department um, injured? Uh, no, I think uh, I think a couple. I think a cop might have got killed. Um, I, I think another one might have been injured. Uh, no other firemen from town here got hurt, though. Uh. You know, a lot of them. A lot of them did stay to help out with the triage and the in treatment, but you know, as far as I know, I'm the only guy from any fire department here in town that got hit. Where'd they take you? What hospital? Uh, we went, we were supposed to go to the trauma center, but they were on divert because they had too many patients, so we went to That's Spring Valley asking, yeah. uh, on the west side of town. Very interesting. Um, so you were out of work for, you said, how many months? <clears throat> uh, I was out of work for three months. I had to have surgery with a, six plate, or a plate and six screws, and then, you know, the rehab that followed that. How are, you, how are you now? Are you able to walk? I mean, I know you're able to walk, but are you able to run like before, or do you limp? Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm almost back to 100%. It's just uh, got a little bit of discomfort wearing the, wearing the boots. i got to wear a wider boot now on my left foot. Mm -hmm. Can you do a Fitbit? Right. Fitbit. <laughs> I'm, walk, I'm a Fitbit. I'm walking all over the place. Well, I know... Uh, as a, as a fireman, and, and I'm sure Frank had a bunch of side jobs as a cop, right? Actually, I didn't. Well, didn't you on the bar when you were a cop? You never, no. you never moonlighted? He obviously I didn't. wasn't in construction. <laughs> no, no, obviously, uh, hence the bathroom. You didn't like... No, uh, hey, put in flag, on the bar. Put in flagpoles. Um, you didn't no, do construction? I didn't do construction. You didn't paint? I didn't. I, when I turn to you with a question, like I'm, uh, you know, can you want to lie to the audience? Up? I can make something up. But week. Uh, you got poor Frederick. Anyway, Frederick, 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 Frederick. Uh, Mr. Fred, I'm sorry, I digress. Um, my, my support's there for you really is trying Fre to throw me into the bus constantly. Um, so you, you depended <coughs> on not only your job, but your side job. And I know I always depended on the overtime. It was always kind of guaranteed. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, you know, when I came on the job and for a while, it's, you know, there's always overtime available and that's just the way it was. And, um, you know, a lot of, I don't like to say that I rely on overtime, but the overtime is definitely nice yes. to, um, it provides that cushion there. So you don't run into any financial hardships or, or anything like that. Sure. Well, um, I, and I'm, I'm not putting you on a spot and I don't mean to embarrass you at all, but when I started the Left to Save Lives Foundation, our, our um, mission statement states, we want to help cops, firemen, military who are struggling due to a tragedy in their lives who are not in the spotlight. It's not on the news. Yeah. This guy got injured and the money's rolling in. And, and Frederick, you, you fit, I mean, perfectly under that mission statement. And, you know, I would like to, uh, we, left to say, Zars, we want to help you out a little bit, a little we can. We don't have a whole lot of money yet. We're looking for some major sponsors. But I told Frederick that I want him to send me some of his bills and we'll try to help him out with a phone bill, a car payment, something like that, in, in memory of our buddies and our friends that were lost <coughs> on 9-11. Yeah, that, that'd be great. You know, anything, anything would really help. And I think that's awesome of what, of what you guys do. Well, thank you. It's, 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 it, it's our way to remember them. And, um, and it, it really is a pleasure to meet you. And, you know, the way I always look at it is you're part of the family now. You friend me on Facebook. We're going to check in on you once in a while. Uh, who knows, a few months from now, you still struggle a little bit, we'll make another payment. And we're coming out to Vegas. Um, I didn't tell these guys yet, uh, because Pat can't come. We're going out to Vegas. Because I'm a degenerate kid. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and listen, if things don't work out, John will put you on one of his shows, so start learning comedy. Right, if you learn yeah. comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we, what's right. in Vegas? Right. Then you can make and some if you're really money. bored, check out what my Facebook page. What you is, can see how my band is coming along. <laughs> so when we come out there, we'll, we'll hook up, we'll have some dinner, and we'll have some laughs. Why don't we go out to Vegas? That would be perfect. It would be awesome. 
All right. What, why, why are we going out to Vegas? To do a show. To see Fred. We're going to do a show in Vegas? We're going to do a show in Vegas. At the Bellagio? Oh, I don't yes. think we're going to do I think we're doing it at the Volley Firehouse in uh, at the Mandalay Mercury. Bay. Not show the, that picture again, Bobby. We're in the middle not, of the desert. Not the wind. We're, right, we're, we're not doing it at the wind? Area 51. Area we're going to have to take the alien. Oh, I, thought, I thought you said the wind. No. Frederick, thanks for calling in. Um, Frederick, take care. I'll be, in t- I'll be in touch over the next few days, and, and we'll, we'll make some payments for you. Hang in there, and thank you so much. Awesome, I appreciate it, and thank you very much. Take, take care. Thank you, right, nice, nice talking to you. Yeah, we, we and listen, it. if anybody in the audience wants to uh, make a donation so we can help out Fred, please send a, a little donation over to Laugh to Saves Lives. And if anybody wants to make a donation to me, I, right. I can use it. He'll piss it away, baby. That's the core of what we're all about, right Absolutely. there. That is the core. That guy, Absolutely. nobody knew his story. Right, I never, the first I, I, I watched the story. coverage of that a yep. lot, yep. and I didn't know that story. Now, because he was now, now remember he wasn't working. He was at the concert. Yeah, but still, he's but still, still, still. Look, no, my, and he, my mother's very impressed. She said, yes. "Way to go, laugh to save his life." Thank you, Mary Jane. Uh, um, one of our biggest to fans, to Pat's mother, mom. Yes. She's awesome. Well, she likes the show because of you, not because of me. She no, she loves watch, you. She yeah, loves you. No, she likes watching you guys. Um, she didn't tune in last so week when you were actually, here. Actually, actually, John Santo was a favorite. To be honest with you, she really enjoys his Thank you. Trump impersonation. She really does like John Santo. She's so terrific. I love his mother. We can so take. We can take. We, <laughs> we can take a caller or two, uh, if you want to call in. Should I do um, my um, state of the oh, union? Oh yeah, yeah, you want to do your other thing? Yeah, yeah. State oh, of the union. Yeah. Go ahead. So tonight is the state of the union, and many That's of you right. know I, I am a presidential impressionist. I do Nixon, and then every president since Ronald Reagan. Uh, both Bushes, Clinton, Obama, and now Trump. Uh, so I know a lot about the presidency, obviously. I have a top secret clearance, and I know a lot about uh, the protocols of the White House. So um, tonight, you have the entire um, line of succession in the same building as the president. Correct. You have the president, the vice president, speaker of the House, and then the uh, president pro temp of the Senate, and all the uh, cabinet secretaries. They leave one cabinet member in a secret, undisclosed location uh, to be the designated survivor so that if an attack or some other catastrophe befell the Capitol and the line of succession was wiped out, uh, Kiefer Sutherland or whoever the designated that's a, that's survivor... That's an excellent show. W- an excellent an, an, show. An excellent concept they came up with. ...would become the president. And, yeah. you know, the show was a little too dramatic, and I, I've talked to some people that, that think they know the Constitution, and they say that when that happens, it's a constitutional crisis. No, it isn't. The, it's, it's, everything is happening exactly the way the Constitution has, has provided for this. Right, so there is no, feisty, there is no constitutional crisis. Don't get, don't get worked oh, up. It 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 we didn't say it. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But you, friends. some of you idiots out there, there on Facebook don't know what the hell you're talking about. Kerry said She said it. Right. Yeah. Which is, you know why? Because she's been in Nicaragua. I like this. I like So that person is absolutely the president. There is no question about it. And then that person... Whoever that person may be, Keith Sutherland. Well, so Keith Sutherland is our president, well, not Trump. Well, then appoint a Same thing, vice people. president who will be who will be voted in by whatever is left of the Congress, or, or the new Congress that comes in, and then that person would be the vice president, and then they fill the cabinet. Do you watch uh, Madam Secretary at all? Yes, and I saw the Twenty Fifth Amendment episode. episode. That was an yes, excellent episode. So that was again that, a little a little stretch, dr- a little too, bit right? of a stretch because. If if the could you president explain, could you explain yeah, so in did, that, did episode, you watch that episode you watch the show no watch, did the, um, the show watch it <laughs> so Article Four of the Twenty Fifth Amendment is uh, Section Four that has never been implemented if the majority of the cabinet including the vice president feel that the president is incapacitated right they can vote to make the vice president the acting president now the president can appeal to Congress. Um, who can then take up the matter if they vote two thirds that the president is incapacitated, the vice president right. remains acting president, oh. or the president will be reinstated, assume his or her executive duties, and then we don't we, we don't get political on the show at all. Right. But <coughs> in this case, tonight, that, to would, that would that would because the people that would be voting the president are of the same party in this case, correct? Well, the president can appoint the the department secretaries don't have to be of the same party as the but president. But they are. Most of them are. So Not all it would of them be pretty are. difficult for that to happen unless he was totally wackadoo, right? Right. So right, so you are really sen- so there's another option where the president if goes in for colonoscopy, this happened with George Bush, Dick Cheney became acting president for Pat, 2 hours. Pat had a call on us. Um, that a that is different. The president sends a letter that he or she is temporarily unable to discharge the powers of the office. 
Uh, I do this when I go in for surgery. I make a Mike Pence impressionist acting president. Um, uh, when I go in for surgery uh, of, uh, or I'm under anesthesia. But then when the president comes out of that surgery, he sends us, that's section three. That's a different section of the Well, I just found that episode amendment. very, I, I find that, I'm not as, as knowledgeable yeah, it was, as it, stuff, but it's very yeah, It was a little bit you of really a, are. It was I'm a little bit of uh, any right. subject. <laughs> There's not one subject that I'm as knowledgeable as you. It was not a little one. bit of a um, maybe a has been. Yeah. Maybe has been. But that. it's <laughs> never been. It, uh, Section four has never been invoked um, from the 25th. It started after Kennedy, so it's only been around since uh, I think it was ratified in '67. Okay. How's the bathroom? Coming along. <laughs> So, um, oh, one, one other joking. thing about the, um, about what was the, that? Uh, what was that? I'm just joking. No, you were allowed. No, you're allowed to joke. <laughs> you're, allowed, you're still allowed to talk. I said, How is the show? And then I said, I'm the Ben Last time she's on. All right, guys. So, one other thing about the, um, oh, my mic is dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this thing, we cut it off. Um, about the 25th Amendment. So, when that person, when the acting president becomes acting president, they're not like, they're not given a presidential number. Like, so that means. Trump is the 45th president. That right. person doesn't become 46. Right. Right. No right. library. It's right. just you're temporarily charged. Now, here's the interesting thing. If there is no vice president, correct, the Speaker of the House becomes acting president. Now, here's the catch. It used to be Secretary of State. This is the confusion back there, right? right? Presidential Succession Act of 1947 made it the Speaker of the House right. because Harry Truman played cards with Sam Rayburn. Anyway. Because um, what? Harry Truman back? became... No, I, so I, I, I they, they was... wanted the Speaker of the House because that person is elected. Now, technically, that person is elected by about 700,000 constituents of a district, but they're elected by the majority party, whoever that person mm -hmm. party is in Congress. So here's the problem so with interesting that. This, stuff. Uh, this happened on the West Wing. The president had resigned. Excellent show. Excellent show. The president's daughter was kidnapped. The president decided to invoke the 25th Amendment because he his daughter was kidnapped. He wasn't making decisions as commander in chief. He was right. making decisions as a father. As a father. So... The John Goodman was Speaker of the House. He was a Republican, opposite party of the president. Now, he becomes acting president for about 48 hours, and they find the daughter. He can't go back to Congress. He has to resign from Congress in order to become acting president. You can't work for the executive branch and the legislature. That makes no sense. Things so that's why that. Secretary of State, I think, is the better option. Yeah, they should change. Because if there is no, I mean, this is also, I mean, it would have to, this would all have to transpire at a time when there happened to be a, a vacancy in the vice president. Right. So, but that, that did happen, and that, he had to resign. So he was president for two days, and then... Out of a job. Very interesting. Very, no, very knowledgeable. Patty, what happened this, to this your is, recipe? This is why I failed social studies. What happened study. to your this recipe? This is why I failed social studies. The Super Bowl <laughs> recipe. You're making up for it here. Oh, Bobby, you want to bring up uh, quickly uh, Bobby? No, I didn't want to cut him off. He was done. You were, were doing impersonations. No, no, no. We go, oh, oh, there it oh, is. Hey. Oh. What's in that That's Perkatelli <coughs> perk bolognese. Oh, my God. Keep talking. That's, um, you know, that's uh, pork, veal, and beef. It's mm. got... Uh, uh, mm -mm. Onions, uh, celery. And you're bringing this to the uh, left carrots. Carrots. Live Super Bowl I can bring it to the left of Super Bowl. Are we having a Super Bowl? It's got. Uh, no. the per if you don't have, can't find percatellis, you can use bucatini. What's percatellis? It's a the tube pasta. You can use it. Oh. Yeah. Or you can use uh, bucatini or you use spaghetti, whatever you want. I think it's a bolognese that. sauce. I, mean, I like to put a nice uh, Chianti in there. What'd you say? What did you I think say? you just cursed at us in Italian. That's what my grandmother used to no. call me. You bucatini! No. Get out of the kitchen. No, I call you a motta de <laughs> That looks good, Pat. That yeah. looks good. So, uh, yeah. recipe. so it's a nice recipe. I'll show you. Oh. There it is. Yeah. So you don't mix it together? You just throw it on I, top? I mix it together. If you notice, the pasta is, mm. is tossed in there. And then nice. I finish it off the top, and I put a little pecorino on top. I'm a pecorino guy. Hey, you got a little pecorino? A little peca. Hi, you tell us uh, about your little pecorino? Loc Locatelli pecorino. What? what, what? See we have a phone call. We have oh, phone I'm call? sorry. Trump is calling in from the Capitol. Oh, there he is. Oh. Hurry up. We don't, we don't get much time, Trump. Hello, Hello. guys. I, I only have a couple of minutes myself. I hey, have Mr. to do Trump. my State of the Union. I just want to say I've been watching from the Capitol. Unbelievable show. So terrific. John Santa knows his shit, I'll tell you. And Kerry, absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. We're going to send you down to Nicaragua. Next time you go, you can take Air Force One, okay? <laughs> don't fly commercial. <laughs> Great. I'm looking forward to seeing Frank's bathroom. I cannot wait to see how the bathroom is done. It looks terrific. Unbelievable. Frank, please, uh, uh, Pat rather, send me those meatballs to the White House. The president doesn't even mention my name. He mentions everything. I say, but you best, are a president, so you're the best for last. Yes. The pr another president, the Thank president you. of Adversaves Lives Thank is you, terrific. Sir. 
unbelievable work. So what is the succession if something happens to you in Laugh to Save's lives? You know, now? Who's the vice president? Who's the speaker of the house? I, I Giovanni. Would, you know, I would, right. Right. Here's my criteria. <laughs> exactly, the, exactly what the is one, the succession? To the one who's been on this show and has added the most knowledge, oh. the most None laughter, it. it will be, it's Kerry. No, 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 no. He's talking session. about if something happens, God forbid. Right, if something happens who takes to over you, not the show. Who takes you, over left to save foundation? Yeah, who's the Come president on, of left to save lives? You're the president who's the vice president. It is, it is, of the it is house, Olivia yeah. Lynn LaRocchia. It would have to be his daughter. Okay. Right? Yeah, my daughter who just got into Binghamton. Congratulations, Libby. Got into Binghamton. What is she studying? Biology. Biology. She's studying biology. Got a full scholarship. She's a good kid, that kid. The Bing, as they call it. His daughter would take over the powers of the business. Are we done for tonight, buddy? One thing I got. We're done. One thing I gotta say, you raised three. We good were done kids. about a half you hour. You raised three ago. good kids. You're a good father, John. I'm a good father, yes, Pat says. You are. Yes, you none are. of my kids. Right. None you of are. my kids are watching right now. But They're I think all watching. <laughs> all right, listen. We'll be back next week. We'll be back next week. Minus two of these people. We're not sure which two, but go to the diner. Good night, everybody. Left Watch that. Pat's a pink one, John. Right, we gotta plug the diner too. Hot cotton peanuts. We're working the stands. Pink cotton candy. Love on a stick. I was chasing the beer. The trick of the lips play.